refractive index of a pure organic liquid is a very easy measurement to make. We're going to be using the Bosch & Lomb Abbey refractometer. Now, there are several moving parts on the refractometer that we have to become accustomed to. First, our pair of prisms over here, and we have a lamp. On the right side of the refractometer is a dial which will uh, become evident later on. We have a focusing device in front here, and we also have a toggle switch. Now, the first thing that we want to do is to introduce the sample. And the way we do this is to put the prisms together and put the little hatch door up like that. We're going to be using methyl benzoate, which is a clear, colorless liquid. And we're going to introduce the liquid under the prism faces using a few drops of the material in a pipette. And you'll notice that at the uh, right corner of where the prisms are joined, there's a little chip taken out of the glass, and that's where we're going to put our pipette to introduce the sample into the refractometer. So we've done that, and now we're going to turn on the lamp. The lamp is activated by a toggle switch on the left side, and right now it's in the up position. When I put it into the middle position, the lamp goes on. I'm going to raise the lamp now to the level of the prisms, about there. And now I have several things I need to do in order to get the proper refractive index for methyl benzoate. The first thing I'm going to do is to focus this lens upon the, uh, the device in the back. And right now, let's see, I, there are crosshairs in there, and I'm going to get those in really sharp focus. The second thing that I have to do is to recognize that the measurement is made only when I can see a light and a dark half of the field in the instrument. And in order to get that, uh, that light and dark junction as sharp as possible, I move this chromatic aberration knob and that's going to sharpen it up. So I move that around and get that as sharp as possible and it's right here. Now I'm going to take the large knob on the right side of the refractometer and move it in such a way that the junction of the light upper and the dark lower field meet at the junction of the crosshairs. And let's get it in there, and there we are. Okay, we now have all we need to do to take the refractive index. We're going to take the toggle switch on the left, we're going to push it down, and that's going to turn the lamp off and illuminate a scale on the inside of the instrument. We are going to read the top half of that scale. So I push it down and I see the numbers 1.51, 1 1.5134. That's the refractive index of methyl benzoate at the temperature, and I have a thermometer alongside the refractometer and it says 22 degrees. Now your laboratory manual tells you how to use the temperature to correct for either 20 or 25 degrees, which are the two standard temperatures that methyl benzoate's refractive index is usually reported at. So learn how to make the correction for uh, as, as per the lab manual and you'll always get this right within one in 10,000. Now, you'll notice that I reported the refractive index to four decimal places, not four significant figures, but four decimal places. It was 1.5134 at 22 degrees.